Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good afternoon I bid to our lecturer Madam Hajar Mazina and all fellow classmates In this video, we would like to present our group assignment about the challenges in managing company during pandemic and endemic Before we are going to present, let us introduce ourselves My name is Hazima Fazim bin Tizam. Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Alif Aiman bin Muhammad Kamil my name is Nur Izzati Azwar binti Zotanai. My name is Amrina Rashada binti Muhammad Zailani. My name is Wahida Amali binti Azlan. This project aims to study about the challenges that Top Glove Corporation Berhad faced and how did this company deal with the challenges. First, let me start by giving you some background information about Top Glove Corporation Berhad. Top Glove Corporation Berhad was founded by Tan Sri Lim Wichai, who is also the executive chairman of this company. It was established in 1991 and headquartered in Malaysia, grown from only a single factory with one glove production line into the world's largest manufacturer of gloves. Top Glove also collaborated with government and ministries to make sure that they keep on update about the latest development in rubber research technology. This company has delivered gloves with holding of 26% of the world market share of rubber gloves with operation in Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, China, United States of America, Germany and Brazil. Top Glove also exports to over 2,000 customers in 195 countries worldwide from North America, Latin America, Europe, Africa, Asia to Oceania. What does Top Glove Corporation Berhad do? Top Glove Corporation Berhad is a well-known company in manufacturing and trading of rubber gloves like latex, nitrile, vernil, surgical and other types of rubber gloves. As the company grows, they also offer non-glove products such as oral care like toothpaste, personal care like hand sanitizer, face masks and condoms, medical care such as dental dam and exercise band, industrial care like latex sheet, and the to the latest one, home care like floor cleaner, dishwasher and also apron. Next, let's look at Top Glove Corporation Berhad vision, mission and objective. Top Glove Corporation Berhad vision is to be a world class partner in gloves and hair care products. Their mission is to ensure safe human protection globally and the company's objective is to produce consistently high quality gloves at efficient low cost. Next, I want to explain about pandemic and endemic overview. First of all, I will explain in advance about the pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic is an outbreak of an infection disease caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus. This virus can cause an infection to the person's respiratory tract, which starts with the symptom of the common cold to severe pneumonia. The first case of COVID-19 was reported in December 2019 in Wuhan, China. Later, COVID-19 was recognized as a pandemic by the both Health Organization WHO on 18 March 2020. Nevertheless, the COVID-19 pandemic has driven the demand for health equipment showing beyond its normality. For example, the demand from the health industry for personal protective equipment, PPE, hand sanitary fluid, and gloves has increased dramatically. It has given an excellent opportunity to top glove company for fulfilling the demand for rubber gloves, especially around the world. It can be seen through the data sharing from top glove in Integrate Annual Report 2020, which showed that there was a strong shoes in demand for gloves in financial year 2020. In addition, the sharp increase in demand for gloves has had an impact on the average selling price (ASP). The rise in glove order from various countries such as Japan. The second wave of COVID-19 infection around the world also caused the industry ASP to rise dramatically. 
currently in stand order has reached price for at least 16 US dollar up to 100 US dollar. As just the Toglove company has successfully achieved a new record in its financial year 2020 since revenue of 7.24 billion ringgit, an increase of 51% from financial year 2019. The high profit performance achieved by Top Glove has managed to contribute a cash flow of 3.46 billion ringgit. It enabled the company to settle its syndicate loan in total amounting to 654 billion ringgit. On 31 August 2020, Top Glove also managed to get a net cash position of 2.34 billion ringgit. The company uses the net cash to finance organic company expenditure, CapEx. This capex expenditure includes capacity expansion, building modern technology facility, and upgrading existing manufacturing facility. Finally, the top deal company succeed in delivery and enhancing the value of all shareholders. Following the excellent performance in financial year 2020, the top deal company has been able to reward its shareholder with a total annual dividend of 11.8 cents. The total dividend paid for financial year 2020 has increased of 9.3 cents or 372% over financial year 2019 and the net profit payout ratio was 55%. In addition, the top glove share price on 30 October 2020 has seen a drastic increase due to the company's ambit performance. For example, top glove share price on Kuala Lumpur stock exchange KLSE has increased by around 447% year to date YTB. And 39.773% since its listing in 2001. In conclusion, the overview of Top Glove is one of the business that benefit highly from the COVID-19 pandemic. Next, I will explain about endemic overview. Before that, it is better for us to know the meaning of endemic. Endemic comes from the Greek where end means in, while demos means pupil. It refers to a disease or epidemic that always exists at a permanent level in a particular area or district. It also means that the disease was expected to always have cases but at a stable and low rate. As we all know, the COVID-19 pandemic that started in December 2019 and has hit the world for a year. Nevertheless, the United Nations has urged the entire country to produce the COVID-19 vaccine. The aim was to ensure that the COVID-19 pandemic can be fully controlled from spreading widely. The effort paid off when the first COVID-19 vaccination program was successfully implemented on 8 December 2020. Finally, the former Prime Minister of Malaysia, Tan Sri Mahyudin Yassin, successfully launched the National COVID-19 Immunization Program, PIP, on 24 February 2021. The successful of producing the COVID-19 vaccine has brought the world to a turning point to a new pace. Now, the COVID-19 pandemic has been successfully controlled by health agencies across the country for from spreading widely. These changes must have affected the top glove company. The company has experienced a decline in demand for glove and the average selling price ASP of glove. It was acknowledged by the CEO of Top Glove, Tansari Dr. Lim Wichai, in the Integrated Annual Report 2021. He noted that today the world had technological advance, thus it has caused the business cycle to change rapidly. Nevertheless, the top glove company has been prepared to face it successfully establishing a strong period of company growth. Top glove company also believes that the demand for glove as a necessity in the healthcare industry will continue to grow steadily. It is because market demand will continue to increase even not as high as during the peak of the pandemic. In addition, the company top glove also predicted that demand for glove was likely to be stable even after the pandemic ends. It is due to the increasing awareness and cleanliness of the work community. For example, the community will always ensure that all activities involving direct contact with others are going to wear gloves. Top Glove company has also faced a sharp decline in Top Glove share price in the endemic period. We can see through the Top Glove share price on Kuala Lumpur Store Exchange KLSE has decreased from 9 ringgit 50 cent per share during the peak of the pandemic to 2 ringgit 81 cent per share. It is due to the downward trend in demand for gloves around the world. Nevertheless, the top glove company still can generate a 126% increase in sale opinion for financial year 2021 compared to 2020. Apart from that, top glove com company also managed to pay dividend to its shareholders with an extraordinary value of 5.21 billion ringgit. In conclusion, the overview of the top glove company in the endemic phase of COVID-19 remain in the advantageous position. 
it is due to the demand for gloves in the post-pandemic COVID-19 is still increasing and driven by increasing public awareness and cleanliness. I would like to explain about the challenges that have been faced by Top Glove Corporation Berhad during the pandemic COVID-19. Over the past year, Top Glove workers were affected by the COVID-19 and they need to be quarantined for a while. This led the company to stop the production temporarily to avoid the virus from spreading more wild and because of this situation, the company's sales have been dropped by 3% as an estimated. A cluster has been determined in Slango, which is the Teratai COVID-19 workplace cluster which consists most of the top glove workers in Klang as well those from factories of other companies in different areas reached a total of 4,093 positive cases out of 6,526 which has been tested as at Thursday to November 2020. As an estimated 3,000 out of 4,093 positive cases were top glove employees. Meanwhile, 20 of the factories had been closed temporarily while other 8 were operating at only 10% or 20% capacity. Furthermore, the biggest worldwide company, Top Glove Corporation Berhad, also have a difficulty to send out product to customer whether it is inside or outside the country. This is because of the Implementation Movement Control or the MCO by the government to control the COVID-19 cases which has been increasingly con which has been increasing continuously. Even though the company has an online shopping store, they could not make the delivery as it is stated to the customer because of the road restrictions. The courier service like Post Laju and JNT Express could not make their deliver on time. This made customer unsatisfied with the service by the Top Glove Corporation Berhad. According to the Top Glove Executive Chairman, Tan Sri Dr. Lim Wee Chai, the delivery is delayed about two weeks from the exact date to be delivered because of the restriction. Plus, the raw material to produce the medical glove have been recently laid from the suppliers. This made uh, the production it will in, as a result, it will interrupt the production to produce the medical glove. On Tuesday, 24 November 2020, it is stated that its shares fell 7.5%. To minimize the impact on their customer, Top Glove allocate their orders to unaffected factories and postpone delivery if possible. Top Glove Company's product has also been banned by United States because of the allegation it's used forced labor for its production. There is also a news stated that Top Glove were underpaying its workers by paying only 8 ringgit per hour, while their salary actually should be 11 ringgit and 45 cents per hour. It is against the rule. They also make the workers work more than working hours. This company was accused of using forced labor in producing medical gloves in order to complete a bulk order from customer quickly. The workers also told the research team that with a large amount of orders and fewer employees and the international travel restrictions made it tougher to fill the vacancies but pressure for them to work harder, faster and longer. There is also information stated that United States Customs and Borders Protection CBP, ordered their staff to confiscate the supply of these gloves. United Nations International Labor Organization's 11 ILO signs of forced labor was used to take the measure of Malaysia's rubber glove sector. 
There is evidence of a rise in all those issues like abusive working environment and living conditions of worker, which the ILO defines as more hours than allowed by local laws or performed under threat. The US State Department has also downgraded Malaysia to the lowest diet in its annual report, which are the Trafficking in Persons report that are published in July 2021, noting the prevalence of forced labor. Hence, Washington had already placed the top glove corporation Berhad rubber gloves on its list of goods that met with forced labor and banned imports from the country's largest producer over the past year. There are three solutions for the three challenge which was solved by the top club itself and also our recommendation. After became the one of the Malaysia's biggest COVID-19 cluster, Top Glove Corp Berhad has taken some action to prevent the issue from happening again in the future. On 20 February 2021, the company has resolved the overcrowding issue at the dormitories provided for its foreign worker. They had implemented remedial action and moved the employee to another accommodation facility. Top Glove Berhad has ensured that all of their worker will live in a decent standard accommodation. They have invested over 90 million ringgit Malaysia in accommodation and decided to spend another 195 million ringgit for more facilities and accommodation. Now, Top Glove Carbahad became more aware with the things that involve their worker. When there's worker tested positive for COVID-19, uh, the Top Glove Carbahad will undergo a mass screening and contact tracing. Not only that, the board of directors also was closely monitoring and having discussion with the management team daily. They also will continue to adhere the COVID-19 preventive uh, standard operating procedure on stringent basis and disinfection exercise at the premises. And accommodation are so conducted regularly with all the necessary precautionary measures strictly in place. The COVID-19 diffusion among the workers at the Top Glove factory occurred due to the lack of compliance of standard operating procedure as HOPI which have been set by the Ministry of Health Malaysia. Despite having the guideline, the worker could not implement the SOP well because of the factory space is insufficient for the number of employees. To overcome this problem, the Top Glove superior should invest in full factory automation. Automation is the development and deployment of technology that allow goods and service to be produced and delivered with little or no human relay interaction. Many tasks that were previously produced by the people are now more efficient, reliable, and fast because of the use of the automation technology. Human involvement is only necessary to define and manage the operation. The assembly of the various components is left to the machines, which convert the raw materials into the completed things automatically. By using this technology, the top curve can minimize the labor and replace the worker in the most mundane and rep repetitive tasks. This allows the employee to implement the SOP better because the employee reduction and uh, the Less interaction is required among them. Besides, the factory space become more wider. In addition, the production of goods will be increased dramatically because of the factory is able to produce a great range of goods in a short time and this will be benefit the company even more. Next is the solution for the second challenge. Due to the delays in delivery of its product, the Top Glove Cobra Hat has already informed to its customer that some of the deliveries from its plant Clang Slango will be delayed for two to four weeks. The Top Glove Cobra Hat keep giving trust to its customer by making sure that all of its customers know about the existence of its other manufacturing facilities in Vietnam and Thailand and they will prioritize the delivery for their customer that are in essential service line. This action will make customer know and believe that the Top Glove will overcome this challenge quickly. The Top Glove Executive Chairman Tan Sri Lim which I believe that by taking this action it will reduce the amount of order cancellation if there are any. In addition, it was unlikely that the group will outsource its order due to the good demand in other uh, glove factories too. 
the customer could not receive their goods in time as promised by the company due to the implementation of the Movement Control Order MCO. Some of the customer could understand the difficulty that was faced by the top glove, but the company have to put its customer first. Because of that, top glove have to establish its own career subsidiary. By having your own career service, the company could deliver its product to the customer itself and this will be guarantee the safety of the goods. During MCO, most of the people purchase essential through online, making all the courier service in the country have a lot of demand. Because of that, it took a long time for the customer to receive their goods beside the implementation of the roadblock in many areas. In order to resolve this problem, Top Glove can use its own courier service but only for its customer to keep its customer satisfaction on a high level. By using its own courier service, the product will be will be on the customer's hand way faster than before. Besides, Top Glove can make sure that the parcel delivered are safe and secure. This will satisf satisfy the customer and making them become more confident and trust Top Glove. After the Top Glove Corporation Berahat has been banned over concerns about forced labor, the United States Customs and Border Protection instructed the company to carry out additional rectification and verification works to address the forced labor issues. Top Glove Corporation Berahat has submitted its remediation of all 11 forced labor indicators to the authority. As soon as the shipment of their 4.68 million disposable latex gloves was seized by the CBP from the port of Kansas City, Missouri. Besides, Top Glove has upgraded their hostel facilities to the immigrant workers who account for most of its factory workforce and, for, and promised to compensate them for the fee they paid to employment agents in, the, in their home countries. The allegation made by the US CBP about forced labor occurred due to the problem that have been faced by the top growth which was shortage of workers because of the implementation of movement control order in Malaysia. This happened because top growth used a lot, a lot of foreign workers and they could not have more of them due to the closure of national borders. In, in order to solve this issue, Top Glove Corporation Berhad should establish an educational institution run by Top Glove itself. The purpose of the establishment to provide manpower supply to Top Glove Corporation Berhad and helping the graduates first step to career related to the industries. In addition, we will move on to the Industry 4.0 in the future. Because of that, there will be a reduction in the utilization of workers who do not have a majority. As a result, the development of this educational institution will be able to train local workers to become particularly skilled workers for the factory operation. Top Globe Corporation Berhad should establish a trade union which is a membership-based organization, which means that its members must primarily be workers. One of the fundamental goals of the trade union is to protect and advance the interests of its members at work. This trade union can help those oppressed workers. For example, when the other factories workers did not execute the SOP that have been made, the trade union can build a channel to make a complaint. As a result, there will be no more cases of employees informing the media that that they are being oppressed. In conclusion, Top Glove Corporation Berhad, the world's manufacturer of the glove business, has the potential to expand due to the COVID-19 pandemic, has increased demand for rubber gloves for medical, healthcare and personal protection purpose, and even the public have begun to use medical gloves for daily activities. The Malaysian government also offers financial assistance and loans to businesses looking to expand their operations, modernize their manufacturing technology, and hire more people. The implementation of vaccination campaigns throughout the world has put pressure on the supply demand balance. As a result, there is still a global growth scarcity, which is predicted to last until 2022. 
the growing need for high quality medical service in both developed and emerging nations will keep global globe demand going in the long run.